What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be installing our 2016 to 21 TRD Pro Grill for the Tacomas, uh, showing the options with the garnish, the camera settings, and then also the colored inserts in the center. So let's get started. Okay guys, as part of the install, um, today we have a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. So this one doesn't come with a camera, which should be positioned here, but it will come with uh, the garnish or the TSS sensor, which is behind this emblem. Okay guys, we're gonna be using a cat claw uh, to remove the two clips on both sides of the grill. Uh, we can pop those off and then it's gonna take a 10 millimeter um, socket to pull out the two screws so that we can remove the grill. Okay guys, so we're gonna use a 10 millimeter uh, socket. I put money on an impact drill to remove these two screws so that we can uh, then remove the grill. Okay, now if you have a 2018 or newer, you guys are gonna have the TSS sensor uh, located right here. That's where the plug-in goes down and then into the sensor. So this brown clip here, you're gonna need to compress or somehow get it through. Then right here is gonna be the sensor connector. Now you're just gonna squeeze it, um, squeeze the plug from beneath and disconnect it right here so that the grill can fully come off the vehicle. Just like that. Once you get everything uh, removed up top, the 10 millimeter, the clips, the plug, uh, you just grab it down here and just give a firm tug. I've already tugged mine, so you can just pop the grill off. Okay guys, now that we got the grill uh, taken off, let's take it inside. Uh, let's get our Pro Grill installed and ready to go. Okay guys, uh, now that we have the grill um, here, let's uh, get it apart so we can put our grill in. To start, we're gonna need to remove the TSS sensor. There's two screws here, the one on top, and then this clip here that you can just clip. Um, and then that way we can fully remove it. There's no need to disassemble this part because the other grill will clip in and we'll be able to put this onto the new grill. So let's go ahead and do that first. So three screws, and that removes your TSS sensor. And then uh, we're gonna need to use uh, some dikes or something to clip this guy. For the Tacoma Pro Grill, you're gonna need these two um, large inserting washers. So you're gonna wanna clip these off. Just like that. And we're gonna be using that for our install. Okay guys, last step is the outer ring. There's gonna be eight small black screws uh, to remove off the top, bottom, and on the sides. And then there's a bunch of tabs um, along the same ring that we're gonna need to compress and push through to release the main grill out of the shroud. The last part is compressing the pins and pushing them through to release the grill. What I like to use are some pliers and then a rag. And the reason I like using the rag is I'll uh, compress one of the clips, press it through, and then compress another one, and it'll, it'll technically leave a gap. I'll slide this into the gap so that the clips don't press back up into their spot. So that way, when you're halfway around and actually put some pressure on it, they don't all clip back in. So I recommend having the rag just as like a fail safe. So the trick here is to compress just a little bit and then actually just lean it backwards and then press forward and you'll see it kind of push through. Okay, so you get one, you get two, I can grab it, like that, okay. And then with that small gap, that's where I'll, I'll push my little towel in there. Just to keep it from not going back together. I just make my way around the grill, just like this. Okay, and once I got half in, put the rag in there. We get two more on top.
There we go. So for the 16s and 17s, sometimes I come with the chrome uh, bezel around here for the older models. It's just a single insert. Um, there's no need to remove all the additional screws around that holds the shroud onto this uh, inner grill piece. So you're just wanting to remove the inner piece because all of our grills are a direct replacement for this spot. From Taco Vinyl, this is the grill and this is how it should appear. If you order a 2018-21 to uh, with the garnish but no camera bracket, uh, your insert will come installed. Same with your garnish. The hard part about the garnish if uh, we don't install it is the clips that they provide are kind of hard to install. And then the last piece that you would get is if you choose with camera or front facing camera, it comes with the bracket and we will have uh, removed this piece for you so that when you install this on the pack, um, your camera will actually be positioned right up here. Um, I can kind of show that real quick. So if you do order the grill with the front facing camera, um, that is a stock front facing camera. This does not support the aftermarket uh, brands like the Anytime camera or stuff like that. This is for the stock version. It actually clips right in here with the two screws on the back. Um, these two screws mount onto the back of the bracket or uh, the Toyota insert. And then this 3M adhesive actually sticks onto the top of the grill for added support for off-roading and stuff like that. But if you don't have the front facing camera, there's no need to worry about this. If you do have the front facing camera, uh, you'll need to mount your camera before screwing it all into place. Okay guys, this is how I'd recommend install. Uh, once you get the grill out and ready to go, you just basically position it on the table and then you're gonna go get your insert and it clips directly onto the top of this. Just like so. So I would line up all your tabs. Once you have all the tabs lined up, you start from one side. And that's all clipped in. So now it's on there real well. Um, before I put it up though, uh, let's install our uh, TSS sensor. What you're gonna need are your two large uh, washer nut things. And on the actual grill, there's two inlets in here to place these. So you're actually gonna pressure those back into their spots because they're gonna be reutilized uh, with your TTS sensor to make sure the angle's all correct. Just like that. Like that. And then this guy with the correct orientation here. <laughs> this is gonna come down here tabs are going to line up just like so. Um, with the older models, uh, sometimes this pin doesn't always uh, line up like the depth isn't correct, but then you're going to add your two black screws here and the one silver up top. So we get this. So the add screw up on top isn't necessarily needed. Um, sometimes people get a bigger one to adjust their angle, but if you put it in just like this with the two black screws and they're added washers, you should be perfect. Um, other than that, we're good to go. Um, if you want to, there's a hole or a slot up here on the top that you can zip tie this cable to so that it doesn't wiggle or move around. With this setup here, we haven't had any issues, not even one with the TTS sensor not working. So if done correctly, you should be good to go. Okay guys, grill is complete. This one did not come with the front facing camera, but we did get the garnish installed with the insert. Uh, we also have colored ones that can match the uh, color of the vehicle as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Cool. Now to finish it, we're gonna put in our two clips and then our two screws and reconnect our TSS sensor. Once you get all those things done, you can go ahead and rip away the plastic. Uh, that way you have a brand new grill ready to roll. So you're gonna add this clip uh, to here for support and then we're gonna add the clip back into where it's supposed to go. Now your TTS sensor will work again. Now we're gonna add in our two clips and the two screws. 